Okay, so, hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about the different types of dubbing, what they're used for, and if they're synthetic or not. First one we're going to talk about here is the Superfine dubbing. Now i got two brands here. There's the Superfine dubbing by Wopsy, as you can see, like this one. And I know this one don't have a tag, but this, and same with this one, this black one here. But th these come from Spirit River, sorry. Um, and the biggest difference with these two, now there are key differences with this, and yes, this is a synthetic dubbing. But the key factor of a Superfine dubbing is, is that it, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it too good, it's really fine, you know, dubbing. I can't really get it to really focus too good. But anyways, as you can see, it's a very fine, very thin dubbing that doesn't have a lot of um, thickness to it. And it actually is, um, and it's actually quite a useful dubbing for dry flies, actually. Um, and as you can see, this one's pretty similar, but the biggest difference with the Wopsy and the Spirit River is, is it it actually has a more of a longer fiber than the than the Spirit River does, so this would be better for like bigger dries, or you can even just cut it in half if you want to do it for smaller dries. But yeah, that's the super fine. Those are that's my favorite dry fly dubbing, by the way, too, and that's my go-to for dry fly dubbing. And the nice thing about that dubbing is, if you since it is a good for dry flies, the reason that is is because. It creates more buoyancy, and it doesn't tend to absorb water like rabbit or, you know, something like that. And that's why that's not, you, these have more buoyancy, this has more buoyancy in in the water. And that's also, and these are also not only good for dries, but I've even used these for midge heads, for midge pupas and things. And it works quite well. But yeah, that kind of gives it a little more buoyancy, and it, when it sinks it goes real slow instead of real quick. So it makes it more like the real thing. Um... But anyways, that's that. Um, and our next one here is going to be the trilobal dubbing and the prism dubbing. Now these are both very similar. One's from Wopsy, I think, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think SLF is from Wopsy, but anyways, and this one's from Hairline. Now they both produce similar effects. They're kind of like ice dubbing, except this produces more of a prism effect. And with prism effect, I kind of like the way it, it kind of produces because... It's good for like wintertime patterns, and I even use this even for carp flies. And it is synthetic, but it's a kind of hard, the only problem I have with it is it's harder to dub in. Unlike the super fine dubbing, which I forgot to mention, the super fine dubbing is actually pretty easy to dub in. This stuff not so much. Um, this stuff tends to be like um, very coarse and thick, and it tends to be harder to dub in, as you can see here. That's the that's the trilobal, but if you look at here the prism dubbing here um this dubbing has um more of a as you can see it has a similar effect but the difference is, is that it's a little longer in the fibers so this would be better for bigger flies but that's this and it you know i do like the effect with it with that prism effect it makes a cool effect to the fish because when light refracts off of it that's how it gets the prism effect it don't just do it alone but pretty neat stuff if you ask me um and the other ones I like is, um, like I have here, like your sim, this one's called Simi Seal. Now this is the only Simi Seal dubbing color I have, and I plan on getting more of this. But this is a mix of different stuff. I think, I can't remember what's all in this. But there are natural, as you can see, there's a big long guard hair there. But there's also some other things in there that are synthetic. So it's a mix between natural and synthetic. And it's relatively easy to dub in, and it can also be used for dubbing loops, but really what you're supposed to use that for is streamers. That's where I use this a lot on, like leech patterns. As you know, the Simi Seal leech is a famous one for this. So that would be good for that. The Angora Goat is a, is a good one here for, like, I've used this on cart flies usually, but I've even seen people use this for, like, um, for, like, um, classic flies that call for seal. Now, seal is not a legal um animal to get any more they used to do it back in the day when seal was a thing you can actually get but since it's illegal to get now as a fur or even dubbing or anything from it since it is a protected species they do use angora goat as a substitute as instead so this would be good for anything you use seal for you can use this instead so that's that and that's the only color i have for angora goat too because i don't really use it a lot but this one here, this one's a kind of an interesting I've recently got. 
this is called quick descent dub as you can see here that's the package but anyways i forgot to mention that but anyways this is um as you can see this is this um this um aluminum it's made of aluminum shreds basically and it puts a lot of weight on your fly so it's really good for streamers and wets and wets alike so this is a really and it is synthetic like it like as names as aluminum suggests it is a synthetic obviously but it actually makes a pretty nice shiny effect too and i kind of like it and that's that and then this is um now there's different hair, natural dubbings i have that are kind of the other miscellaneous dubbings category this one i have here and this one came from um this baggie here i have this big ziploc baggie full of it this is all of hair's mask dubbing and yes i do use the hair's mask for hair's ears and it's pretty, you know, sh relatively short. It's a little shorter than traditional rabbit dubbing. A little, I mean, sorry, a little longer than rabbit dubbing. and has a few more guard hairs. But really good for wet nymphs and whatnot. So that'd be good for that. And of course I have some more over here that's more of a light natural color. But that that's that one. Now this one's, uh, I believe, muskrat, if I remember. And yes, it is. So muskrat's actually um a very... um old thing to use for dubbing now this is a good dry fly dubbing that's natural and it tends to be a really buoyant dubbing as well and it pretends it's really buggy i've even used this for gray midge pupa on the head it works quite well it's very short it's not as long as some of the super fine the only issue i have with this is you do have to pick out the guard hairs in order for it to look good that's the only issue i have with it but other than that it's really good and it is yes comes from a muskrat um this one is called mink um this is another animal that you don't t typically think of for dubbing but it is nevertheless a an animal but mink actually is good for wet flies actually so this would be good for like your nymphs very short and has some guard hairs the guard hairs would actually be good for nymphs too so that's one you would use for guard hairs and usually a lot of wet flies, I like the guard hairs because they have more bugginess to it. And I kind of like that better to it. And it, it makes a better looking fly. So this one here, as you can see here, this is a recent one I recently got called Bruiser Blend by Flyfish Food. This one's actually quite a nice, neat dubbing, actually. If I can get some out. Um, but it's kind of a long, very long strands of dubbing. And it's a, basically a mix of synthetic stuff mixed in and it's actually quite it's quite useful for a lot of streamers and you know like your newer innovative flies that people come up with in variants recently and fly fish food uses this a lot in their videos so this is a really nice thing to have in your collection not my primary thing to use but it is a nice thing to have like i said so that's that um so this one's called um, South Scud Dubbing. Now, I do not like any other brand besides Wopsy for this, simply because Wopsy just gets it just right. And this is, a, this is a mix between natural and synthetic. There is some Antron dubbing in here, as well as some, um, I believe, some other synthetics. And I, I think there's also Australian Possum dubbing in here. So it's a mix between natural and good, and um, natural and synthetic so australian possum is also good for wet flies that's why i use it in scuds because it makes a really good scud mix with the other stuff so and it makes a really buggy dubbing and i really like it a lot and this is um that's that so usually what i would use that for is like your crustaceans like your scuds and shrimps and sow bugs and then your next one here I have is called Senio's Laser Dub. Now I have two colors of this. This one and this white one here. I only have two colors, but it is good stuff for streamers. I really like it a lot. Especially for bass streamers and pike streamers. I like using this stuff a lot. Um, but it's quite a... It's kind of hard to see, but it is a long stranded fiber. And that's why they're good for streamers. And it's all synthetic, but it is a mix of different things. I can't remember what it is, but I think some of it is yarn, what they mix it with, a type of yarn. And they grind it up and mix it. But yeah, that's Senior's Laser Dub. And it's real easy to dub too. And you can also make dubbing loops for streamers for it, so it's really easy to work with. So this stuff here is called Ice Dub. So Ice Dub, is, I have many colors of this. Ice Dub is actually a very um, coarse dubbing, and it is very... Um, 
how do I say it? It's very flashy, so it is really good for the winter time and murky water patterns. Just like the, I forgot to mention with the trilobal and prism, they also are good for that. But this shiny dubbing actually is very coarse, so it is harder to dub in just like the prism and trilobal dubbing is. So you have to really work it in to get it in. And the other thing is with this is, is that it's also really good for, e I've even used this for streamers, like on the bellies of minnows, minnow patterns, and even like gills for certain streamers. Where I use the gills are usually like something like this, like red. Or, and the dubbing, I mean the bot belly, I use like a pearl color usually. And yeah, that's that usually is what I use for a lot of my streamers. Like my sculpin patterns and whatnot. And then, last but not least, out of all the dubbing types, we have the rabbit dubbing. So rabbit dubbing is a pretty popular one, as you can see. I have a lot, quite a bit of it um, in this pile here, other than my super fine but anyways I have this um rabbit dubbing here and I'm trying to get it out here let me see if I can I get it out there there we go so then they're real short like just like the other some of the other naturals like I've showed you and it's very little there I don't have a lot but anyways it's really good for wet flies as well. It tends to absorb water and puts weight on your flies, so this would not be a good choice for your dry flies. So, if you look, you're look looking forward to doing nymphs, even streamers some of the time, I've even used this too. This will work both ways, as long as it's a wet fly. That's the biggest thing. Now, the other things I have here are these dubbing dispensers. This one has a bunch of ice dubbing in it, and I made this one specifically for ice dubbing. I bought an empty dispenser and I got the, these in there. I kind of like using these if I'm on the go and I have like, you know, I don't want to carry my bags around. And I have the bags just in case I need to fill it up. So that's kind of why I use these. And I use these more than just pulling out of the bag usually. So it's a lot easier to deal with. So I have to grab it out and put it back in, you know. But there's some different colors I didn't show you with the ice dubbing. There's Peacock. There's a new one I got recently called Midnight Fire and I kind of like it already. I was going to eventually use that for pike flies, maybe. Red, pearl, yellow hot, and UV pearl. All great colors for ice dubbing. Now this one has a bunch of super fine. Just like you saw there, there are all of these colors here. PMD, BWO, black, tan, Adams gray, stone fly orange. I know it's stone orange, but it's really stone fly orange. I just couldn't fit the marker on there. Is all. And then this has a bunch of rabbit dubbing, so... Now, I did throw the hair's ear, I mean the hair's mass dubbing in there, basic, or hair's ear dubbing. And that's really what hair's ear dubbing when you buy the store is. It's really just coming from the hair's mask. But I got it from my, my own mask I got. So anyways, that's that. But anyways, I got different colors in there here too. Gray, amber, rust, olive, tan, sorry, rust, brown, olive, tan, olive, light, olive, caddis green, black, hair's ear, natural, hair's ear, all of I know it's scrubbed off. Chocolate brown, as you, it's kind of scrubbed off too, and yellow. But these are all rabbit dubbing in here, and I kind of, I know it's, now I have been working on filling these other up here, these other two, as you can see, which I haven't done fully yet, but I will eventually fill them up with more. But this one here, this is a more recent one. I really like this dubbing a lot. I got it for Christmas. I haven't tried it yet, but as you can see in here, it's kind of a mix of different synthetic stuff. And, you know, what I like about it is, and yes, as the name suggests, it is good for carp, but I'm sure it's even good for bass, too. And actually, um, this actually has some, not all kinds of colors in here, and this guy that came up with the design, this blend, you know, originally, is actually a famous warm water tire, and I highly recommend looking at his stuff, because some of his stuff is like works of art, literally. But he also makes good carp flies, too, that are really innovative, and he uses this dubbing a lot, and I really like it already. So, yeah, so then the, you can see all the different colors here, as you can see. And this is a good dubbing to use. But yeah, that's that. That's all the dubbing I have currently in my collection. And if you have any more questions, comment below, and I'll see you later, guys. Thanks.